So out here at Porto today, and it's kind of funny, I've never actually dove here. So with here with Amar and Barry and who else is coming? That's it. Okay, well, it's just three of us. <laughs> and yeah, we're going to do some uh, wreck dives. I've never actually dove here, so it's been a, been a long time in the making here. We swam up to the wrecks, and this being basically Barry's second home, he knew exactly where to spot all the ships and where the locals hang out. The depths on these ships varies from wreck to wreck, and it's about 10 to 25 meters depending on the tides. So be prepared for those kind of depths if you come out here. It's always nice to see healthy populations of lingcod hanging around. We did several dives down on the second biggest ship, the Grand Hall, and it was a pretty low tide, so the top of this was just about 8 meters, so it gave us lots of bottom time to come check out all the ship's inhabitants. And I see these things all over the place. I thought they were sea pens, but I don't think that's quite right. Anybody else know what these are called? And this ling here? Kind of surprised me at first, so I had to return down to get a better look. And as you can see behind him, there's a big egg mass. On this dive, we encountered several guarding lings protecting their eggs, which is awesome to see. And this guy just loved having this picture taken. And of course, I had to dive down and take a selfie with the toilet. After we were nice and warmed up, we headed over to a spot that Barry had seen a school of yellowtail hanging out around 20 meters. So we figured we'd go and try and find them. A few drops later, and there they were, a school of some small yellowtail hanging around some boulders. These guys were just about 19 meters deep, so that's a bit deep to get too much footage from them. I don't really dive deep uh, on a regular basis, so it's something I need to get back into and just practice again. Unfortunately, I wasn't recording when this girl came to say hi, but you got the tail end of it. <laughs> Looking down at the yellow tail and on the way up, we see that sea line. <laughs> it's down at 19 meters. Whew. I never failed to find something on a dive, and this one was kind of odd. Um, it was a very old broken weight belt covered by some boulders and it was kind of the opposite side of where people normally dive. So it's kind of weird to find this here. Um, and yeah, it looks like it's been down there for some time. So does anybody know who dropped this on the side of the shore maybe 10 years ago? That's a cool find. I just found this down there. With this being 30 pounds of lead and us being freedivers, this was rather hard to swim back. I could barely stay above the surface holding this, so I climbed up onto the shore, grabbed myself a nice log, and I used it to help me swim this back to shore. Anyways guys, thanks for watching my short little video, take care.